Want to install or update to the latest and awesome Windows 10, but still in a dilemma that where to get it? But worry no more guys, because I am presenting to you an official way by which you can download any variant of the Windows 10, that too without any cost. Hi, this is Ankit and you are watching Absolutely Techie. Stay tuned after the intro for more information. Hi guys, welcome back. So I have quickly headed towards my browser and opened this Microsoft website to download this tool. So actually you have to go through a set of menus in order to download this tool. But in order to make this hassle free for you, I will give the direct link in the description below. So I have downloaded this tool and I will quickly open it. So what this tool does is, it will update your current windows to windows 10 or it can create a disk image of the latest update version of windows 10. So here it says it's getting a few things ready so I'll fast forward it to get the things ready. So we'll quickly accept all the terms and conditions and it's trying to fetch all the required information. So here it now says what do you want to do. So either we can upgrade but right now we don't want to do it. We want a full disk image of Windows 10. So we'll select the second option to create a installation media. So here we need to select the language in which we want our Windows 10 to be there, the version which is anyways Windows 10 and the architecture that is either 64 bit or 32 bit. I'll select 64 bit here but maybe you can select whatever you want. So now here is another important menu which tells which media you want. So right now we want to create the ISO file so that we can boot it later on and you can give the path wherever you want that ISO file to be and I will give this name and select the path as my desktop and now you can see the download has started and in case if we would have selected the USB option it would have directly copied all the files to the plugged USB drive and now you can see the file has been downloaded and verified and now the ISO file has also been completed. So now we can burn the ISO file to a DVD or we can create a bootable USB drive out of this. So it will do a cleanup and remove all those temp files. And now we can quickly go to the file explorer and see whether the file has been created. So here you can see somewhere around 3.4 GB Windows ISO is there and that we can use to create a bootable USB drive. And I will tell you how to create a bootable pen drive in the next part. So guys, did you see how easy is it to create a fully updated official version of the disk image of Windows 10? And if you have any further queries, comments or suggestions, do provide it to me. I will be more than happy to receive it. If you appreciate my efforts, please hit the like button and give me a visit on the below platforms. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.